typically on this channel, I try to stay away from a lot of political discussion. I won't upload political videos. I have an entirely separate channel where I do that furthermore. This is a wrestling channel where y'all likes me to talk about some wrestlings. But every once in a while, I suppose, the two worlds kind of collide, if you will. The mega powers explode. <laughs> and what did you know? Once it became apparent that Donald Trump would be the next president of the United States, there started to be that buzz out there that, due to their year-long friendship and relationship um, and association, that there's a possibility that Linda McMahon would somehow be involved ultimately in Donald Trump's administration. And oh boy, did that bear out to be true. Donald Trump has chosen to nominate Linda McMahon to be the next head of the Small Business Administration. All you small businesses out there that are part of the <laughs> part of the business world and look to the SBA for guidance and help and support. You're now ultimately going to be crawling to an infrastructure that is headed by Linda McMahon. Just suck on that for a second. <laughs> you kind of have to laugh at it, because in some ways it is kind of sort of ridiculous. Here's how ridiculous it is. I mean, is this what we get for putting Donald Trump in the WWE Hall of Fame? Fucking at this point in time, look at some of the other clowns <laughs> that heard in powerful positions in the government. Why not just go all the way WWE and professional wrestling with this shit? So maybe I can nominate, if you will, some potential cabinet uh, positions. Uh, give you some cabinet suggestions, President-elect Trump. You know, maybe some um, other positions throughout your administration. You know, like Attorney General. Shit, David Odunga. He's tried cases before. What the hell? Why not? You know, you're going to need people to represent the United States. We talk about make America great again. Well, what better ambassador for the United States of America around the world than Hulk Hogan? And in particular, I have one country in mind. I think Hulk Hogan should be the next ambassador to Niger. Now, just think about the possibilities. Imagine what happens if the Hulkster, Mr. Red, White, and Blue Americana himself, has to sit there and say the name of the country, and he says Niger a different way, maybe adds a G. Let the hilarity ensue. How about Homeland Security, Chief? I go with the Mountie, because at the end of the day, he always got his man. Treasury Secretary? Ted DiBiase. Who knows better about fiscal policy than him? And his tax advisor could be Erwin R. Scheister. You know, for an office like... Uh, the Department of Health and Human Services, you need somebody that's familiar with every communicable disease possible and available. So I say, who better for that position than Sonny? Some might say Missy Haya, but hey, either way, lots of experiences with diseases, if you catch my drift. You know, education is critical to the future of this country. Our youth are our future. So who better to lead the charge as the education secretary than Scott Steiner? You could take Common Core standards and shove them up your ass. Give me a Scott Steiner math lesson any day of the week. Isn't that right, Senor Joe? With that 66 and two-thirds percent. The numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you at sacrifice. You know, let's think about everybody's worried about their safety and all of this and wanting to make sure that we don't have to worry about going out there and getting blown up or getting shot. So Defense Secretary, who better than Dolph Ziggler? We all know deep down this has been a lifelong dream of his to be a rear admiral in the Navy leading a ship full of seamen hunting sperm whales. I mean, what a more natural fit you couldn't possibly find. A rear admiral on a ship full of seamen hunting sperm whales. That position screams out to me, Dolph fucking Ziegler. Secretary of Agriculture. Mr. Trump, why not RVD? We know he knows a lot about herbs and growing things out of the ground. So why not have him run your agriculture department? Energy Secretary, the Undertaker. He gets lightning bolts to shoot out of the fucking sky. He's certainly got to have some sound, clean energy policies for the 21st century to move America forward and off of foreign oil dependence. 
Think about Secretary of Veteran Affairs. Who better could you have than Randy Orton? You know, for the couple of months that he served, man, I tell you, now we'll overlook the AWOL stuff. And then Chief of Staff. When you think of Chief of Staff, who knows better than be about being the Chief of the Staff than Pat Patterson? Oh, thank you. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Linda McMahon is going to run the Small Business Administration. The same Linda McMahon who married into the family business. Never mind, going way, way back about four decades ago, once her and her husband had to file bankruptcy, but, you know, if anything, that's a badge of honor in a Trump administration. You're talking about Linda McMahon, a company, being part of a company, excuse me, that in many ways made its hay by destroying many other small businesses, the territories in the professional wrestling business of the 80s and the 90s. So this is a company in the WWE who was in part led by Linda McMahon that destroyed a lot of small businesses. So, of course, it's only natural that we would put her in charge of the Small Business Administration. Now, in a lot of ways, she largely was for many years just a figurehead CEO, and that's just the way it is. She was made president back in, I believe it was 1993, right around the time the steroid trial was starting to come to be. So she was put in that position for a reason as a placeholder for Vince. Later on, she became CEO. But we all know at the end of the day that Vince was the one that called all the shots, every shot in that company, everything funneled through Vince. So we now want Linda McMahon to run her own small business administration when she didn't even run the company, frankly, that she was a CEO of. Furthermore, if we want to sit there and say that she actually did run the company, let's look at some of the raging successes over the years like the XFL, the Times Square restaurant, WWE Studios, Need I Continue? So either she's a figurehead that had her position only because of name and marriage, or you believe she actually did something as CEO, and when you look at that track record, it's not exactly good. And when you look at the business of the WWE, you talk about a stock that doesn't perform very well. You're talking about a company that during Linda's tenure lost about half of its domestic viewing audience because that's some type of badge of honor, right? We're talking about somebody in Linda McMahon you want to put in charge of the organization that oversees small businesses throughout this country you're talking about somebody that utilized so many loopholes and tricks in their organization to employ wrestlers as independent contractors, meaning for a big corporation like the WWE, they wanted to act like they were a small business even though they were anything but, all the while meaning that they didn't have to pick up any of the tab when it came to the wrestler's health insurance. They didn't have to pay into any unemployment insurance, provide any type of unemployment benefits meaning they didn't have to kick in their half of the Social Security tax. All the while, while sitting there and having all of these performers signed as independent contractors, dictating where they worked, who they worked for, why they worked, and all of that. That's not an independent contractor. That means you're an employee of that company. But yet somehow, for all these years, the WWE's been able to get away with that. So we have put somebody in charge of the Small Business Administration, who made their fortune in part off of destroying other small businesses. And even now, especially when you talk about the way the company's been run over the years, the WWE has done a lot to fuck the people that have worked there. This is the person you want to lead the Small Business Administration. And above all else, if anything else doesn't convince you that this is ridiculous on so many different levels, this is the same Linda McMahon that spent upwards of $100 million combined on two failed Senate races. Let me get this straight. Our president-elect has decided to nominate for the head of the Small Business Administration somebody who spent more money to lose two different Senate races in Connecticut combined than Donald Trump spent out of his own pocket to become the next president of the United States. I just want everybody to think about that for a second. So this person, who in many ways is only a figurehead, when we all know at the end of the day everything ultimately ran through Vince and everything had Vince's fingerprints on it, so Linda McMahon in no way, shape, or form was really truly a CEO at all, is now going to be in charge of the Small Business Administration. 
The same Linda McMahon, whose company for many years, under her oversight, continuously fucked its wrestlers by trying to get them to always sign contracts as independent contractors, which they always have, meaning they didn't have to pay health insurance, didn't have to kick in anything towards unemployment benefits, didn't have to pay the Social Security tax. That's the type of crap that we can expect to come down the pike from the SBA in the next four years. And above all that, again, she couldn't even buy a Senate seat. So basically you're telling me that this person who married into an advantageous situation or what became an advantageous situation only had her position in large part because of the name, because of the marriage, who wasted a hundred million dollars of her own personal fortune, her family's personal fortune, to lose two separate Senate races in a two-year span, we think this is a good idea to put this person in charge of anything cabinet level in the next administration. I don't give a shit if you voted for Donald Trump or not. I don't give a shit if you like Donald Trump or not. I don't give a shit if you think he's going to be a good president or not. But to sit there and tell me that Linda McMahon is qualified to lead the SBC. <laughs> a less qualified person there could be. I wouldn't want her running the SPCA, let alone the SPA. It's funny, but it's funny in a very sad, pathetic, oh my god, how stupid is this fucking country way? <laughs> hundred million dollars to lose two Senate races, and we want this bitch running the Small Business Administration. <laughs>